reboot me. So you guys were in the town where the energy dome was surrounding um, the the uh, snowy town. Uh, it looked like Fritz's energy. Yeah, I forgot who Fritz was. Gabriel. Jeez. In a different... Yeah. In his actual form. He's just blue. Nothing's really different. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange my stats again, just so I'm not, like, one-shotting. Hold on. Uh, I need to go get something to eat. I haven't ate all day. Harder. My bad. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to eat and play? No. Y'all can start it off without me, though. I'll be back in a bit. I'm zoning out to say that shit. Or something. Better not, be, better not be Pringles. Go eat something, like, genuine. Like, go eat a real food. I'm gonna go get some real ass food. Yeah, hell yeah. We are farmers. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. Okay, Kaylee, are you ready? Mm-hmm. So, um Gabriel has walked into sorry, uh Fritz has walked into this domish area. Like I said, the energy kind of looks like his. Okay. Is there anything that you'd like to do? Would you like to follow him or? I kind of want to stay back for a second. And wait and see what he has to say about it when you step inside. Uh, he kind of just looks around and just is just inspecting stuff. Sunshine shots, what do you see? Just, it looks almost like there's a spaceship. Kinda. I guess. What does a spaceship look like? I, I don't know. It's blue. You'd have to come in and see for yourself. I'm trying to take the step to the, the thing. You walk in and see this gigantic, almost alien-looking spaceship, uh, sitting in the sky as, um, the dome is kind of connected to the bottom of the spaceship. Everything looks fine, though. Should we go inside the spaceship? I don't know how we would get up there. Maybe. Maybe we could. Maybe Zero knows something about this. Does it look familiar to Zero's ship when he crashed? He wasn't on a ship. Well, like his little thing. It kind of looks like him, in a way. Like, it almost fits the aesthetic. Okay. Maybe we should go get Zero. Yeah, but he's super out of it. Yeah. Sunshine looks back at Zero and he's just... Dead. Drooling. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know what this could be, honestly. What's this? The ship. Okay. 
Hey, Sonny, what's that? As he, like, gently um, touches your neck, it kind of sends a shiver down your spine as he says, Why is there a skull on your neck? What do you mean? Um, there's like a little, it looks like almost like a birthmark, but not a birthmark. Like a tattoo? Yeah, kind of. Of a skull. I don't know what that's from. Touch it again. He touches it. It doesn't feel like anything. It just feels like your normal neck. Does it send, like, shivers again? Only at his touch, but not, um, from the actual thing. Why are you so cold? I don't know. Maybe because we're in, like, this area, the tundra. Can you draw a circle, like, where the dome is? Huh? Can you draw a circle, like, where the dome is? Yeah. It's kind of covering an entire town. Yeah. So, uh, Fritz looks at you and just, he just kind of looks at you for a second and then um, goes back to looking at the ship. Huh? And then take a few steps towards it. Zero kind of like follows behind you, making sure that you're safe. Fritz? Or, sorry, yeah, Fritz, my bad. I'm all sorts of turned around today. Nothing is really happening um, until you see this blue beam kind of shoot down from the sky. Where did it go? Huh? Where did the ship go? The ship's still there. Um. It's just this beam as it, like, inside of the beam, when it comes back up or, like, goes away, there's this, like, blue and black robot standing in front of you guys. Hello. 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 We are here to retrieve Zero. We don't know a Zero. He's standing right behind you. <laughs> As uh, they point at Zero. Why do you need him? He needs to come to his home planet. Requested by his mother and father. Uh, Will you give up Zero willingly? No. Very well. As um, the beam kind of like shoots down on top of them again as they go up into the uh back into the ship fucking carter had to leave at the worst possible time we should have just waited honestly yeah and that's what we're gonna do for right now okay <laughs> you something ready? bad huh what did you say Kelly? something bad happened All right, Carter. Now it was. What happened? We'll explain in game. So we're gonna continue with everybody now being in the dome. Carter, I'm guessing you walked through after seeing Sunny and uh, Fritz go through. Yeah. As you walk through, Carter, looking up, you see a. Um, explorer ship that's originally from your home planet 
in the sky as it kind of like flies off. You see, Zero seems like very, very surprised by this, but he has nobody to talk to about it right now, so he just decides to catch up with the group for now. Fritz uh, turns to you and says, they were asking for you, Zero. I guess I just missed them then, huh? Yeah, they didn't seem very adamant about being nice about it. It's almost like they were demanding you back. Who's your mom? I'd rather not get into the specifics yet. Let's just focus on what we're doing. The specifics on your mother? My family is, um... Yeah. Not the best. As, uh, when the, um, thing goes away, the streets are still empty. It kind of seems now almost like it was there just to get everybody out of the town. Wait, what is it? Uh, the dome. As the dome goes away. When the ship leaves. Fritz turns to you, Zero, and says... Wait, so we said that we weren't going to give you up willingly. What does that mean? What are they going to do about it? Your nobility has their ways. They'll probably send a stealth operation in that case, then. They're not exactly the most brute force of people. Why has everybody moved? What, what, what happened? Sorry, my thing. I was trying to zoom in. What did you say, Kayla? I was trying to zoom in. Oh. Oh. So they're probably not going to attack us? Can you help me? No, they will. They, just, they, they will. They just won't. You just won't see it coming, I guess. So we have to worry about fucking ninjas? I guess you could say something like that. Fritz is taller, by the way. Uh, than Gabriel. Yeah, zero, when he changed forms. Zero is still five foot ten. Fritz. So. <laughs> Gabriel is now standing at seven foot two. As Dang. tall as that. Damn. As tall as that one orc was. Oh. Um, by the way, guys, an old friend of mine, well, kind of, left behind her stuff. Uh, y'all can pick between it. What is it? I want the Black Hand's Claw. The Black Hand's Claw is one of the most powerful items in the world. Are you sure? I don't know. How about we give Sunny another gun and give her the double buckshot? <laughs> Let's go over some of the stuff first. The Black Hand's Claw has the ability to give something powers, but it permanently takes its life force. A part of its life force. How much life force grows with how many powers is given. Eventually it will just kill somebody. Oh. It's depending on the person. Its other option is when the eye of the claw is closed, it is able to control organic matter. But whatever it's controlling is killed if the enslavement is released. Yeah, you could probably sell that for a lot. I'm just saying. <laughs> we can probably sell it for a few universal coins, yeah. Let's do that then. Wanna know a secret? No, I don't. The problem is if somebody bad gets their hands on this. Somebody that's going after us or something like that. It's going to be bad. Then I think 
crit should have it. Definitely don't want Tyrion Nobility getting their hands on this. We can wait on that. What about the double buckshot? Where is that? Oh. Is that um, just a shotgun? It's a shotgun with two ch with a chain that connects Hellfire and Ice Fire. Well, Hellfrost. Yeah, let's just give Sunny let's just give Sunny another gun, bro. Fuck it. I'll take that. <laughs> What about the shiny rocks? Oh, I'm uh, taking those. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Lesser inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. My bad. Uh, Just gone. This gun. It's just gun. Yeah, it's just a gun. It was just a handgun. You're not even gonna be like, oh, it's a flintlock. It's just gun. <laughs> She's got a fucking 9mm. His name is Glocky. <laughs> Glocky. <laughs> the 9mm. <laughs> Named your fucking gun, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Lights Bane. Oh, I wonder where that's from. This is uh for my friend. He's gonna have it. Yeah, I wonder where that's from. Probably not like it's from Toray, bro. One of my friends passed away, so we have all of her items, and well, two of them did. So. You two have wishes that you can use. I'm gonna save mine. But are we talking IRL? Uh, no. It's no, they game, didn't. bro. I usually talk in game. If I'm not, I'll say out of game. Shit, yeah, bro. I was like, oh, I was like, no, no, dude, no, no. Like All I right, said. wishes. What do, what do I use those for? You can wish for something. Like anything? Pretty much. I'm gonna save mine. Yeah, I'm gonna save mine for now. That's how I got anything. my- That's how I got these. Um, Car- uh, Fritz holds up his hands, and you see these blue and black, like, claws, um, made of metal, kind of wrapped around his arms. It seems almost like they sealed to his arms. And they kind of just, like, turn into his normal hands. What are those for? So those, are just, those are just there now? Yeah. I didn't realize I won't be able to take them off. <laughs> These are Chaos Claws. They gauntlets. They make my power stronger. Wait, so for my other... The... Uh... Like the fire whip thing. What is that? The what? The thing that I took. The double buckshot? Mm, I think so. Where the hell did that go? You deleted it. You highlighted it and then deleted it. Oh, I pressed... Well, uh, Sunny, now you have a coin purse so you can put all your money into. When did I get that? You should make that. What did you say? Uh, Carter? I forgot what I was about to say. I forgot. When did I get that? I don't know. I guess you just did. Okay. Oh! Right, it was on my friend. Oh. So what should we do?
Do you guys want to go exploring or something? Sounds all good to me. Sunny? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Um... So from I can't be texting and hosting. Um so from the ice town, where is it you guys want to go? Uh. North, south, east, or west. South will take you back to the um to the cave system. Oh that was your We're going north. We're gonna go deeper north? Mm hmm. Bet. Uh, going further north, far off in the distance, you guys see this large amounts of ruined cities. Kinda makes you wonder why anybody would really want to settle here. Um, the, uh, the terrain kind of turns into this very, like, humid, uh, warm terrain. Almost like Florida weather. <sighs> like, in the snow? Uh, it transitions from the snow to that. Oh, so we're in the tropics now. Yeah. Fritz turns to you, Zero, and says, Isn't Planet Tyran, like, mostly ice? Planet Tyran is a very cold place. What's it like? Practically the reverse of what you'd have on your normal human planets. It's colder in the middle, hotter on the poles. <sighs> wow, that's... Fascinating. What about you, um, Sunny? I know you're from Emmett, but what what's it like in the Fey Forest? It's older. Well, it's like I don't know. It's like humid, but also like cold some days. It's cold at night, and then like humid in the daytime. Huh. What's it look like there? I don't know how to explain it. It's just beautiful. Maybe we could all go sometime. Yeah. I'm not against the idea. Alright. Hold on, I'm trying. Uh, venturing into the ruins, um, you guys see, like, a lot of random stuff just kind of on the ground. No items of anything interesting. Just random shit little rocks sticks stuff like that is there any crystals no not that you can find kind of see he kind of sees how far he can kick a rock kicks it <laughs> it goes like 10 feet the little like uh little strike of disappointment um, you guys find, a a little rock, like, a, not a rock, but a brush that kind of moves around a little bit. Sonny, you're almost immediately drawn to it. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Hear go what? Go check it out. I'm going to it. Uh, moving over the brush, you see a small little, uh, fairy snake. That's far away from where it's supposed to be. It's usually in the Fey Forest, but the tropic areas, not ever. It seems oh lost. God. It is a baby version of it. You are mine now. I'm picking it up. It, it kind of like, when you reach your hands down, it kind of like recoils back. 
It's okay. It looks like it's about to bite you. That's fine. Is his head in the S shape? Yeah. Okay. Um. Fritz play. says maybe you can use speakeasy on it. I want to see if I can. Huh? I want to see if I can tame it. We used to have these all the time in the fairy forest thing. So. How and I would you... pick them up all the time. Um, let me go through skills, complex reasoning, risk analysis, engineering, and cooking, creature analysis, creature analysis. So both of you guys know, um, to tame one of these little snake things is to give it something sweet. And it usually oh. takes a while. Or to use, you know, speakeasy. I packed strawberries earlier. Those are days old. Not on days. They're like hella organic. <laughs> <laughs> My little creep. So cute. Zero, anything to say about this? Uh, it's a little snake. I'm gonna bite wait. her. Huh? With wings. I used to have a snake before. I'm gonna pet it. If it bites you, it's not... Oh, uh, okay. My bad. Um, so, DM to player. If this snake bites you, it is not going to be good. They are tiny, but their venom is huge. I guess when I speak. Huh? Oh, fang, bro. What'd you say, Kaylee? The only the closest thing I got to something sweet is lemonade. Oh, <gasps> give me the lemonade. That's lemonade. sour, not sweet. Can't, don't they like that too? Uh, no, they are sweet creatures. They got sweet teeth. I do you have more bubble gum? Uh, yeah. He gives you a little piece of bubble gum. Are we sure that bubble gum is the healthiest thing for this little thing? It's sweet. Shut they up. can they can eat anything sweet. Why some bubble gum? It is it's still recoiled. Like imagine being a small little creature and this giant person is just holding out food towards you. It'd feel like a trap. I'm that big. He's not that big. Compared to this thing? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna set it like right here. Right there. And then step back. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, it actually goes over to the bubble gum and then like bites onto it. <laughs> Fucking Sunny is vibrating. Um, it is it looks, my friend? No. It looks a little bit less aggressive, but um, it still seems like it'd be kind of iffy about being picked up. Picked up. I'm on my hands and knees. I'm going towards it. How are you going towards That's it? That's great. Slowly. I extend out my hand. Fifteen. Oh shit, roll a d20 plus 11. I really hope they get the snake. It's better you gotta let the snake with you. It's the method. D20 or 12? D20 plus 11. A 20 plus 11. No! As, um, extending your hand out, the snake's head kind of goes into your hand as Kaylee. Inside, Inside of your head, head you, you hear, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is it thank you? 
as you feel this lightning bolt kind of go in between you guys, as you can feel this form of connection, almost like you can tell what the snake is thinking. What are you going to name your companion, Kaylee? Bubblegum. Bubblegum the companion. <laughs> we'll do light pink. Lighter pink. Lighter pink. I got you, damn. So fucking <laughs> I'll go over no, not that one. Kaylee? Just let me let me do this. Find, find that one. Keep playing the game. I'm just gonna like search around the area while they're doing that. <laughs> Gabriel's or er, Fritz is gonna follow you. They're so cute. Uh, Fritz just like. Catches up to you, Zero, and says, so what do you think is going to happen now? I think she's going to try to snuggle the snake, and I'm going to find something, hopefully. What do you mean, find something? No idea. That's what exploring is about, huh? I guess so. Your ice wisp is dope as fuck, by the way. Yep. He extends a finger and I switch lands on it. Alrighty. Uh, off in the distance, you see a weirdly placed and unharmed chest. It has a chain to the side of it, and it just kind of, like, looks weird. It, it looks so off. It looks so misplaced. I don't think we should go there. <laughs> hey, Fritz. There's uh, loot over here. Oh, Open shit. The chest. Um. No. <laughs> No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Fritz. I mean, I, I know mimics have loot in them, like really good loot, but probably not worth it. Oh, you know what'd be badass? Mm. Let's just see if I can do it. Uh, Fritz pulls out this like whistle thing, um, and it plays this very beautiful melody. Uh, nothing happens. He just looks aww. Crazy. <laughs> I was gonna try and befriend I'm the mimic. Going, I'm going to make a ice spear and go to fucking stab it before it attacks us first. Do I have a shield? Huh? Do I have a shield? No, you don't have a shield. I can give you one. Hey, Zero. Before you attack that thing, can I get a shield? Uh... Should we just, like, do full battle, I guess? Uh, go ahead and give Kaylee a shield, which starts <laughs> off at 25 HP. Okay, giving her a shield. Yeah. Thank you. And to start this off, I'm gonna throw a fucking... I'm gonna pluck one of my tail feathers and throw it at that thing. <laughs> okay, uh, one of your tail feathers does 1d6 damage, right? Yeah, do I have to roll that? Feather toss, uh, yes, you'll roll 1d6 damage. Two damage. As you are throwing the feather, you remember, mimics have around 250 health. For a very, like, uh, for a weaker, um, mimic. <laughs> uh, chest mimic. As, as the feather leaves your hand. <laughs> as this chest starts like <laughs> growling um and then these giant fucking black legs pop up from the bottom love dark souls 
<laughs> uh, let me find it. I know exactly what you're talking about, too. I know exactly what these mimics look like, bro. Me, too. Hold up. Is it one of the crawling ones? Or one of the ones that stands up and, like, get karate kicks you and shit? Yeah, it looks like looks like this, that bastard. I fucking hate those things. I've hit every single chest. Ever since I got killed you know by one crazy? mimic, I hit every single chest. You know what's crazy? Hmm. Dude, in Dark Souls 2, if you hit a chest that isn't a mimic, it'll just break and you won't get loot. No, you get loot. Yeah, but the chest will break. It'll give you, like, rubbish. If it's not, like, a key item. As this mimic, like, kind of, like, spawns up, it looks pissed. It was just resting and you guys hit it. I did not hit it. He hit it. I don't Quickly, think you speak easy on it. Uh uh. Dude, <laughs> I don't think we want to use speakeasy on it. I'm saving that for later. So mimics stand at about We're eight cooked. feet tall. We're cooked, bro. We're cooked. And they have a 20 plus on it's all like of their bonuses. You just changed it from 15, bro. That's cheap. <laughs> no, that was for the boss that I was doing a while ago. Oh, yeah. No, this thing is better. This thing is stronger than a boss. Okay, I got you. <laughs> it's stronger than the first raid boss, yeah. Okay, everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Sorry, Carter. Dude, this thing has like apathy. Oh, damn. Uh... We can still choose to run away if we want. Hell yeah, I'm trying, to I'm trying to run. I ain't doing this. You don't want to fight a mimic? Hell nah, he gets 20 on everything. I'm good, bro. Facts. Uh, Sonny, are you trying to run too? Uh, yeah. Fucking everybody dips out from the mimic as he just... He's got the biggest, like, yeah, you better run face on. He don't even got a face, bro. He's just got a chest. He's, and like, he you can hit. tell the mimic is proud that he just bitched you guys. <laughs> as he just goes back to resting. He just turns back into a chest. Yeah. The way you put me on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, Fritz fucking threw you over his shoulder. Um. Oh, jeez. Let's not do that. Just gotta do it again. Yeah, facts. We don't mess around with chests when they look like that. It just. It was off. It wasn't in the right spot. Some I mimics. I thought it would be funny to throw a feather at it. I knew it was a mimic. Well, I mean, the mimic probably hasn't eaten enough people to be smart enough to know that's not the right spot. <laughs> yeah, they get smarter the a more smart they eat. Mimic would, a smart mimic would set itself up amongst other real loot. Yeah. Speaking of, we gotta go think of something like a quest that you guys wanna do. Um. We should try finding like a little cabin. You know what? Fuck it. That's actually not a bad idea. But I have a thing just for this. We should. <laughs> okay, we we need it to land on get bitches. <laughs> if it actually lands, I'd get bitches. Cross your fingers. No, I don't want to do that anymore. You should replace XP farming with get bitches. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's roll again. Cross your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches! And if that doesn't work no. out, if that doesn't work out, no. if that doesn't work out, we're gonna do gardening. I'm not gardening, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, fine. If you're not gardening, we gotta do something that all of us agree on. Holy fuck! <laughs> Roll it one more time. Okay. 
Imagine it lands on dragon hunting, bro. No! How? How is that even a thing? That's no. that's not something that happens. Chris really want us. <laughs> go, go questing. It was so close to being get bitches again. What? So if get bitches doesn't work out, we go questing. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Are we all trying to- Are, are we gonna go one help- One more time, I wanna see what- Okay. I wanna see what it land on. Are we gonna help Carter get bitches? Yeah, I'm gonna find something on Pinterest and see. No, that's okay, I have Actually. a bunch of images. But I wanna pick it up. No! Keep being a player. <laughs> Bull. Dude. Zero is going to struggle to get bitches so hard, bro. He's like actually an asshole. Fritz says, okay, so we either got... And there's like an actual wheel that pops up next to him that he spins. <laughs> um, he just says, so we got Leviathan hunting, get bitches, or... Um, <laughs> uh, uh, XP farming, or go questing, I mean. He raises an eyebrow when he hears get bitches. <laughs> Zero, I'm not gonna lie, dude. You're, like, really awkward. <laughs> I'm aware. And an asshole. That snake loves you. I love it. What kind of, uh, t uh, um, Zero, what kind of girls are you even interested in? I've never really had the option of having a type. I was kind of put into an arranged relationship <laughs> at a young age. Oh, I can see why you left. This snobby bitch that I don't miss. <laughs> huh. You're not a normal Tyran, are you? N never mind, sorry. Let's, um... What are we doing now? We gotta find... Zero, bitch, I guess. A bitch. He put this, he put this, he put this face into his palm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get zero hella bitches if we keep referring to them as that. I wonder if that witch person that's, like, blind and deaf would date him. She's cute. How, how am I even supposed to talk to somebody like that, Sunny? She's also, like, you 300 years old. You grabbed her hand. <laughs> hey, she'll never leave. Uh, uh, uh never mind. <laughs> she grabs your hand and then talks to you through your brain. You'll never know if she was talking to other guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you don't like the idea of dating a telepath? No, just the idea of dating a 300-year-old telepath. <laughs> She'll know everything. Fair. Fair. Preferably nobody with red hair. Why not red hair? Past experiences. <laughs> Gingers are off the table? Supposedly, yes. Okay. You've never met red haired Tyran. I'm telling you, you'll lose your mind. Okay. I mean, um, what about, okay, what race are you looking for? Are you looking for another Tyran? No. Damn. Mermaid. 
Mermaids are fucking insane. Don't do that. Um. They're the closest cousins to sirens, which makes them absolutely batshit insane. You like the Probably the right type for him, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> In character. Dude, for anyone to actually like him, they'd have to, like, like, like him. Like... He's an asshole towards fairies. And then he's just an asshole. If there's anybody that's shorter than me, he needs a tall woman. <laughs> you need like a an orc girl or something. <laughs> <laughs> you should give him a giant. A giant? That's some like that's some like Greek mythology ass relationship right there. <laughs> Yo, hold on, bro. How the fuck did Seath the Scaleless from Dark Souls bang Gwendolyn, bro? I don't get it. Well, maybe it was before he was like a giant dragon. That freaking Spider Man. Or Spider Woman. She. Yeah. <laughs> Quilag. <laughs> do you want to date a Dark. dark player do you want to date a. Do you want to date a Dark Rin? Fred says. Uh, I have no idea what that is. So, on Planet Tyran, you guys have the idea of demons, right? Pretty much. Dark Rins are just that. Yo, can I see an image of them? An image of a Dark Rin? Yes. Yeah, let me we go should... look for one. I have a friend. We should play that game where we line up, like, a bunch of, like, girls. And then he picks out his favorite one. He goes through them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's like, pass, 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 smash, smash. smash. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad we were on the same boat. <laughs> okay, let's line them up. Um, here's a dark run for old friend of mine. Her name's Mildred. Oh, he just shows you a picture on his phone. Smash. Shut the they don't fuck look up, too Caleb. bad. They remind me of humans, kind of. <laughs> Remember, he doesn't like red. Well, that's nah, it's just red hair. She's got she's got a little bit dyed. So. Don't go for her. She's nuts. Uh, dark rins are creatures born in the underworld that take on human shape. They have, they have, they are born in human shape. They're got a line up. They are typically very sadistic. Kind of hot. They're either extremely sadistic or masochistic. And they're usually short. Yeah. That sounds kind of hot. They're short. Is that what you said? Oh. Short, sharp teeth, long nails. <clears throat> Sometimes they have wings. Other times they have tails. Other times they have neither. And they're short. So they're short, like Sunny. The dark green females are, yeah. Huh. Not that short. Not even close that to that short. Wow. Like 5'4", five, 5'7". Five, yeah. yeah. I mean, Sunny's like really short. Like, she's like really well, short. Sunny, short. You're, you're a fairy that can turn into a pixie, to be fair. I'm stepping on your head. I literally don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she should be shorter, though. Like three, two. Oh my gosh. I'm good. Also, Zero, don't you think it's kind of dangerous to start dating? Like, especially with how much is going on? What, with people looking for me? Well, I mean, with all the danger that we get into, people looking for you, yeah, all that. I've never been the most worried about leaving somebody alone if I pass, so not exactly. Well, I mean, you gotta consider the other person, too. Yeah, huh? she's crazy. We have to deal with her. Well, not only that, if something happens to you and she falls madly in love, like, we have to deal with that as well. Are you sure anybody could actually fall madly in love with me? No. Believe me, Zero. Exactly. 
Zero, <laughs> believe me, I, of all people, would not expect somebody to, like, care about me. Well, you've got that fairy, and she's awfully well, close I have, to you. I have you two as friends, which is something I've never had in my entire existence. Uh, friend so. zone. <laughs> You're so I have you two that are close, which is something I've never had in my entire existence, so... Oh. Believe me, Tyrion, something can, you know, care about you if you just open up enough. So, uh, hold on. Out of character. What, yeah. like... Dude, how many races are there, bro? Millions. Is oh there, my like, god, bro. There... How am I supposed to pick? Oh. You, you, you're gonna have to just find the one, bro. <laughs> Literally. Uh, Fritz says, I mean, you can try for he vampires needs... if you're a night owl. He, he, he needs... Oh yeah, he is a night owl because his his schedule is still all fucked up because of like how here it is. They have two they have two sons by the way. I mean you could try you could try to go out for fucking you can try to go for Queen Remy. Excuse Wait, me. You have two... Huh? He has two sons. Zero has kids or oh. his parents do? Oh, the Tyran planet, planet Tyran has two suns. Oh, they have moons. two stars, home stars. Yes, and four moons. Yes, I misunderstood. Oh, that's badass. I'll make, I'll make something for that. You can try Three to go. Three of the four moons are like shattered. Yeah, you can try to go for Queen Remy. Fritz says, not gonna happen, but you could try. <laughs> and who is this exactly? She's the Celian queen. Ever since King Ryan was killed. They weren't married or anything like that. She just inherited the throne. Rest in I don't exactly think that um, royalty is my best option here. <laughs> well, I mean, you do kind of carry yourself with a little bit of a sense of nobility. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. Shit, dude. I don't know what you're looking for. Yo, he, he needs like a... He needs like a tall woman that's like just fucking crazy about him. Please do try to uh, try your best to stay in character. It makes things move so much... Fuck! Much smoother yeah, and easier. Yeah, says the one who just talked out of character, bro. I was talking. Fuck off. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I don't know, Sonny. What do you think would be good for him? I think you should download a dating website or a dating app. I don't even have a phone, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. We can get you one. We just gotta sell that black claw, claw, claw whatever the fuck it's called. And then we can go and sell it, and then get you a phone, and then you can get a uh, Tinder, and then find your soulmate. Kinder. <laughs> if we sell, if we sell that claw, the first thing I'm buying is not a phone. If we okay. sell this claw, it's going to end up in the wrong hands. Wait, what if you just make an web or account for him? I. You do have a phone. I do. You're gonna take, you're gonna take like an awkward picture of him. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm not really What's very your... learned about all the online stuff. Well, okay. Um, I'm not going to set you up with an online profile, but if you are going to go out with somebody, I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers. Okay. Because I've been on this planet for 17 years. I've learned a couple of things. Do not ever tell somebody your abilities. Ever. Have Unless you, you become on... close with them. Sounds good to me. I know on Planet Tyran, it's like a kind of a custom to show off and stuff like that. Similar with the Fairy Forest, because y'all don't very frequently have abilities. But 
in Celia, it's an extremely taboo thing to show off your powers. It's like whipping your pee-pee out. Like, you don't do it. <laughs> I understand that. <clears throat> Is that the only tip you have for me? Uh, no. Celian women very typically be, like, are typically pretty independent people. A lot of them are heroes or adventurers. So, absolute respect is, like, one of the biggest things for most Celian women. Especially, like, powerful people. Who exactly are these Celians? Uh, so we are in the country of Celia. North Celia, to be exact. On that continent. And, you know, it's kind of built up its own culture. Ah, uh, I see. I'll keep this in mind. Any tips, Sonny? I have even been huh? on like a date before. What'd you say? I haven't even been on a date before, so I don't even know. <sighs> Alright. I think we should go questing. As he tries to like avoid the whole getting women thing. He uh Fritz just looks at you and says, You're nervous, aren't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you're nervous. Hero's <laughs> nervous. That's okay, man. It's intimidating, the atmosphere. A little bit. <clears throat> Especially when you gotta compete with dark wrens, dude. Why are you so shy? Oh shit, Trey Did you a not hear Did you hear not hear the whole arranged marriage can't get into relationships thing? But you don't have to be shy. It's okay to be shy. I'm not shy. I just don't know how to talk to people. You know how to talk to me. Yeah, because you're short. <laughs> you're tall. Bitch. Do you even, like, see who you're, like, on the back of right now? And I'm tall? He's cute. Damn. My bad. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, appropriate. <laughs> Let's just move on. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Where are we going to? Wherever you guys want to go. I think we should sell that claw. Why do you want to sell the claw so badly? It's such a bad idea. Money. <sighs> what are we able to do? I feel like this claw should not be in the possession of Sunny. <laughs> no, I, I agree. What if I put it on? Is it like a glove or is it like an actual claw? It's like a claw. You, If you put it like, on, you probably won't want to take it off. Fritz says. I won't want to or I can't. Want to. It has a interesting property to it. it makes you kind of addicted to the power. Ah. Anyway, I'm I'm guessing y'all are like Let's... walking as you're talking. Yeah, we're we're walking, talking. We're going back to the city. What did you say, Kelly? Just singing. Uh huh. Uh, walking back into the city. Um, it looks very vibrant and calm, and everything is like cool. People are chilling. 
people are kind of like sitting out and watching the sky, like the um, city light up and all that shit. Just everybody looks relaxed and happy. I've never seen the city this relaxed. Yeah, right? Are they on drugs? All of them? Yeah. Everybody, every person in this city. What? Mm-hmm. Somebody gave them an extra dose of happiness. <laughs> you never know. This happiness is laced. <laughs> laced. Maybe someone put some a little extra sugar in their food. If we're gonna give this claw to anybody, it'd be to the trinket man. Why? Because he doesn't sell to villains. Hero seems like overly observant of his surroundings ever since he saw the ship back over there. You do see people that kind of look like Tyran scouts. Just watching. Can we not stay out here for this long? Uh, Fritz, I'm like, just uh, huh? tired. Fritz looks over at you and says you're just tired? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Sonny, Fritz is tired. Do you want to go inside? Yeah, let's go. Alright, good. <clears throat> do, 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 do. And it's in the elevator, I guess, right now. Uh, boom, 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 bo